making breakfast, I got some interesting news from my husband. Hey, good morning. How you doing? I'm good. Want some breakfast? No thanks, but I got something to tell you. What? The entire closet fell down. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're joking, right? Okay, let me take a look at it. Well, he was right. The entire rack on a back wall fell down. My husband has a lot of shoes, so he bought extra shelves to put on top of the racks, and I guess it couldn't hold all his shoes. Well, <clears throat> looks like it's time for a new closet. So today I'm gonna show you how I took my closet from disaster to dream in this step-by-step -step DIY journal. So my husband felt really bad about not having enough space to hang our clothes anymore and said he would take care of getting us a new closet. So he sent me a link to a closet company online where you can design your own closet. There were lots of different styles of closets with different wood grains and you could choose your door styles, different hardware that you could choose from. We have a small walk-in closet, so I wanted to design something that was really efficient that would hold all our clothes plus all of his shoes. So with their app, you can put in the measurements of your closet and it'll give you a sample design of shelves for each wall. And you can change those around to suit whatever you need. For that back wall, I decided to add a whole roll of shoe shelves for my husband. And instead of eight drawers, I'll have six so that I have more rooms on shelves for my jewelry and makeup. Since the closet is small, I want the unit to be white to make it look more open. And I'm going to use a modern polished chrome hardware. And after getting everything just the way I want it on each wall, I can see that this design closet is going to cost us, I mean my husband, about $2,500. But he'll be happy to know it's free shipping, so let's order. In preparation for the new closet, we took everything out, all the wire shelves, and cleaned everything out of the closet. We spackled and patched up all the holes, sanded all the walls to make them smooth. We also decided to paint the walls. I thought a little color would be a nice contrast against the white shelves. And while we're at it, why not add some crown molding? Now I think we're all ready for our built-in closet shelving. After about two weeks, our closet was delivered. And ta-da, this is what it looks like. This is pretty scary. I was hoping that it would be a pop-up closet, but no, it looks like we really will have to build this ourselves. Luckily, it came with pretty good detailed instructions for my design plans and the site had um, pretty good installation instructions. First, I had to install this railing that held all the shelves suspended on the wall. Then I had to position all the shelves according to the design, screw all the parts together, and finally, I needed to cover up the railing that was holding the shelves up. The unit came with these plastic covers that you could just cut to size. And I decided to paint these the color of the wall so that the railing would just disappear. And then finally, I have all my built-in shelving up. Ooh, I had to tell you that was not easy, especially since I had to do most of this during the week while my husband was at work. But one more thing in this closet that I really wanted to change was this awful old fashioned fluorescent light. So I took a trip to the store to find something a little more modern. And I think I wanna go with something glam for the closet. So I think I want a chandelier. And this one right here looks perfect. It's not too big, it's just about the right scale for my closet. I got this chandelier from Lowe's for $160 and we actually had to have an electrician put this in since the wiring for the fluorescent light was not in the center of the room. 
So we covered the hole with the wires with a plate and we patched a ceiling and painted it. Along with the chandelier, I would love to have recessed lights in the ceiling and also lights in the shelves. But while I was in the store buying the chandelier, I found a pretty good option. These battery operated eco lights. They come six in a pack with a remote control with a dimmer and batteries and command strips included. $34 a pack. And look at this, you can turn all the lights on with a remote control and it has different settings. You can dim it, make it brighter. This is really awesome. On this shelf, I'm setting up a vanity and I really need the extra light in here. Look at this. These lights make a big difference when I'm putting on makeup. So on my vanity shelf, I have a vanity mirror and my rotating makeup carousel. Click on a link above to see how I made this. I used some of my coffee filter flowers to dress it up in a silver and crystal vase. Right next to it is my jewelry vanity with all of my earrings and necklaces on my rotating jewelry lamp. Click on the link above to see how I made this and my ring pedestal. I took advantage of an extra hanger bar that I had to hang all my extra long necklaces in the back. Right above that shelf is more jewelry and I found a rotating silver tray at Goodwill that I used to display my perfumes, oils, and lotions. The next shelf over, I have a box with my husband's watches and jewelry, then hats and clutch purses, and at the very top I displayed all my purses and bags. Nothing too heavy this time up here. And of course now we have the perfect place for all my husband's shoes. Unfortunately they couldn't all fit on this rack. So until we can figure out what to do about my husband's shoe obsession, the rest will have to line the floor. For my closet floor, I made my own fluffy cowhide rug. To make my rug, I went to Walmart and got two yards of faux white fur. I folded it in half and drew half of a cowhide shape onto it. Then I cut it out and unfolded it and pulled all the excess fur off the edges. And that was it. It was about $14 a yard, so it cost about $28. I made this beautiful vanity stool that is also a storage container to sit and do my makeup out of curtains and a crate. Click on the link above to see how to make this yourself. Oh, and if you're wondering why I have an extra furry throw on top of my stool, since I had to sit up a little high, sometimes I'll use my waste paper basket as a footstool if I'm sitting here for a while. This closet is not huge, so I tried to find little places to save space like this belt rack on the wall for me and a cubby for my husband's ties and belts. I also hang some hooks and a full length mirror on the back of our closet door so that we can have everything inside to get completely dressed. Okay, now I think I'm ready to show my husband a brand new and improved finished closet. Wow, looks great, it's awesome. Yeah, and not only do you have this beautiful chandelier, but when you turn off the light, we also have lots of mood lighting so you could just walk in the closet and and turn on a remote and you could dim the lights wow three different up. settings of mm -hmm. mood lighting that's awesome yep. <laughs> what i really like is a space for my shoes yep <laughs> <laughs> i have a space Lots for all space. your shoes of course not all of them but we do have shoes <laughs> around uh, your pants on the floor. So there's a little room for my shoes and dresses and purses and everything. And I think this will hold us for a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure, okay. it looks great. great. Awesome, great job. So even though this started out as a bit of a disaster, I was so happy we were able to make a big difference and our small walk-in closet.
check out my new Etsy store where I just added new products and everything is drastically reduced. I also added new project guide booklets with full color step-by-step -step instructions for some of your favorite projects, including the Bohemian Crystal Table Lamp. All digital downloads, just $3. And check out my Amazon page where you can pick up my Your House a Home metallic multi-surface acrylic paint with eight beautiful shimmering colors. You can mix millions of colors and create endless home beauty for indoor and outdoor projects. And from Amazon, pick up my Book of Elegant Home Crafts Volume 1 with all your favorite projects together in one big beautiful colored step-by-step -step instruction book. On my Amazon page, you'll see all my favorite crafting tools and supplies used on this show. And you can add them all to your cart for the one-click, fast and easy shopping and delivery convenience of Amazon. I'll be working every day to make crafting fun and easy for you. Follow me at Your House of Home and Your House of Home TV on all social media for extra home, food, and gardening tips.